Hey everybody, welcome back. We finally got a good day with no humidity. Nice and cool out. And bright blue skies as you can see. So, we're out here at the sandblasting area. I'm going to take care of this hot rolled sheet metal. The floor, the rear floor riser. And I've got some of the hat channel over there. And a bunch of other parts. I got an exhaust manifold and some blacksmith forge parts here. And we're going to get all this stuff sandblasted. And one thing I've been getting a lot of questions on is how I'm going to fix this, this hood. So I pulled the hood off the CJ3B welder Jeep project. And it's hard to see. It's got a big dent there. And it's bowed pretty good. I don't know if you can see that in the picture. But it's bowed real bad there. And somebody put somebody put some holes in there and some holes in that area. It's tough to see with the sun glare, but it's in pretty tough shape. It's the kind of hood a lot of people probably just scrap and put a reproduction Filipino one on there and and get rid of the good American steel. But um, I'm going to show you how to bring this back. Uh, I'm going to get it sandblasted. And then probably next time you see me, because I can't film during the sandblasting, is uh, back in the shop. I'm going to sandblast these parts. I'm going to get some epoxy primer on the floor and stuff. The hood I'm going to leave bare, because we've got, uh, we've got some shrinking to do on that. We can't have paint on it. So, it's, uh, it's a decent hood. It's got your usual tears and wrinkles and buckles and stuff like that. But... I'll show you how we bring it back in, into good shape. So, I'm going to get sandblasting today. And, um, I don't know, maybe on uh, Monday, Tuesday, something like that, or next week, I'll give you a glimpse of the epoxy primer and everything. And then we can get busy on putting the hat channel in and getting this body welded up and put together. So, that's where we're at today. I'm going to get busy while the weather's still good and get everything cleaned up real nice. Okay, we'll see you soon. sandblasting and I hope you can see it that's the kind of finish you want on it you want to get rid of all that hot rolled um, crud that's on there and we've, we're down to clean bright metal and that's where you want to be and I've got the hood let's uh, let's head over to the hood I sandblasted the hood. I didn't go crazy on it because we're going to do a lot of shrinking, a lot of sanding, a lot of everything. But uh, it's kind of bright out here. I don't know if you can see anything. Big dent here. I got both sides of it. It's kind of loose and floppy and it's got tears everywhere. There's one there. And maybe you could see that big dent there. And it's really bowed in the center. But we'll take that back and get that fixed up. So that's about it for today. And uh, we'll be back in the shop. We'll get everything epoxy primed. And uh, we'll start putting the rear floor together. And I guess we'll start working on the front hood. I'll show you how we get that back in shape. And if there's anything else you want to see, just let me know. And, uh, and I'll try and show it for you. Okay, we'll meet you back at the shop. Okay guys, it's immediately after we got back in the shop here from sandblasting. I like to get the epoxy primer on the parts as soon as possible. And this is the product I use. It's uh, RM. Um, it's basically the BASF line of stuff. Uh, they got glazure they got a lot of different kind of high quality paints this is epoxy primer and I got the black color and it comes in gray and other colors too so you got four parts of your epoxy primer and one part of the activator that's ripped I already made a little container on that but uh, so it'll be four parts of your epoxy 
one part of your activator and then one part of the reducer and that'll give you a pretty thin mix if you want to put it on a little heavier uh, you could do just half a part of the reducer uh, I generally like to put it on real thin this is just right after you know on bare metal right after sandblasting just to keep it from rusting uh, if the thinner you keep it the easier it is to weld through and stuff like that so it's just basically to preserve the metal we sandblasted it and uh, and we want to keep it rust free so inside the hat channel we're going to put some of the uh, cold galvanized compound um, you know our, our weld our weld through primer basically and uh, we're going to put the epoxy primer on the outside of those the floor is going to get all the epoxy primer and we'll get welding we'll clamp some stuff up and get welding that next but that's what's coming and uh, after we get the floor done we'll uh, we'll move on to that hood i think so like i say anything special you want to see just let me know okay everybody here we are with the rear floor with the hat channel installed on it uh, it's clamped on there <clears throat> and we've got the rear floor riser in place and that's clamped in there also and as you see I've got the four of them in there and only uh, there's the back right there and this one and this one are in the factory locations and this is the one where you're <clears throat> you'll have your bolts through the bed through the, the rear floor bed into the cross member on the frame so that one's where it needs to be and then we just take the the distance between them and stick another one in here and here and basically what you wind up with is uh, seven inches between them almost the whole way through and that adds quite a bit of rigidity to the floor and being 14 gauge it, it, it's super super strong so I've got the epoxy primer on everything inside of the hat channel I've got the cold galvanizing compound what we use for weld through primer that's on the inside and we have the epoxy everywhere very easy to weld through that and it, it, it gives good protection so the next thing we're gonna do is is clamp it up a little better we want to make sure that every single portion right here and here and all the way around is clamped real good so we'll clamp that with a long clamp and, and plug weld that and we'll do that to all of them we'll get the floor riser welded in and that'll be the whole floor finally in the complete stage so I've got a lot of welding to do and clamping and stuff like that so I'll get that underway and show you as I'm going along how it looks. So this is the point we're at right now and I'll be back with you soon. Okay here we are with a little bit of spot welding done. I've got the corners, well the ends I guess you'd call them. I had those clamped up, I tacked those in first and you can see the spot welds are coming out nice. I think I can get you in on that one nice and flat so I did all the ends on both sides and then wherever else I had good contact like on the back here I started filling in areas that had real good contact and we're not bad it's uh, it's laying pretty flat now let me see if I can get you a whole shot of it we're gaining on it and it's starting to lay real nice so what I'll do is get the long clamps and, and come in the side here and, and clamp from whichever way I can get in there to m make good contact we don't want to weld that if they're not 100% hitting each other so a few spots need it some spots are still tight but some spots need some clamps so I'm just gonna keep going with the clamping and welding and if it starts to get out of control, which it hasn't been too bad, I'll just kind of, you know, hammer it back into shape. It's usually the ends here that get, you know, this will sometimes take a bow this way or curl up that way. Uh, but it hasn't been too bad. So that 14 gauge is a bear, but it's, uh, it's coming out pretty nice. So 
it looks a little crazy there with all this with all the uh, you know when you weld through the the primer and stuff it, it makes a little bit of a little bit of a mess there but that'll just wipe right off and we're gonna go over everything and sand it anyway the epoxy primer is uh, just there for for rust protection and we're gonna we're gonna go over that again but um, that's where we're at I've got the fluorizer tacked in so I'm gaining on it and I'll show you again a little when I get make a little more progress on it okay everybody here is the final finished floor I've got all the spot welding done okay there's four hat channels in there 144 welds and that floor is as solid as can be I've got the floor riser tacked in there still clamped but there's a couple tack welds on it and that's the completed floor I hope you can get a good shot of that all the welds will get another coat of epoxy primer um, every every bare surface will get epoxy primer before we start with the real uh, the real primer the high build primer but um, that's what that looks like and I'll flip it over and give you one last shot of the underside so you can see the whole thing okay here's the underside and you can see all our welds there nice and flat and sometimes you'll get one that kind of gets away from you like this one and this one we'll just grind those down but 99 percent of them came out perfect we'll take care of those couple that aren't and there's a shot of the rear Okay, so we're going to leave the floor off to the side for now. We've got the side panels and wheelhouse and all that stuff made that we're going to weld onto it and start putting the whole rear of the body together. But uh, I've got a bunch of requests to show how I fix hoods. And if you remember, I sandblasted this one when the weather was good last time. And we're going to throw this on the bench and get that real bad curve out of it and try and get this squared away there's a lot of dents in it a lot of holes in it but we'll get that over on the bench and we're probably going to do that next it's a little out of sequence but uh a lot of guys wanted to see that so we're gonna we're gonna pull it apart fill the holes and do some shrinking and get that whole thing back together again and i'll show you the process how we get everything all that stretched metal back shrunk into place again so that's what's happening and uh, feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel we're trying to make it better every day so uh, keep tuned and uh, we'll, we'll make it a little bit better all, as we can and uh, hit the like button or send me a comment and let me know anything you'd like to see or how you think things are going or any kind of comments fine and uh, we'll catch you next time okay thanks for watching